Okay guys, in today's video I will do something different, I will just do a very fast walkthrough to how to install TensorFlow using your AMD graphics card. I struggled with that because I moved from NVIDIA and I was using CUDA, CUDNN and all of this stuff with TensorFlow and then I bought the new RX 6800 and then I was stuck with the various errors in TensorFlow, including this one, which I'll show you. Uh, if I type uh, conda activate EF2, which is my TensorFlow 2 version, which used to work perfectly fine with my NVIDIA GPU. Uh, and if I go into Python, import TensorFlow, right off the bat, you can see something's not really good because it's loading could art, but we ignore that and we do tensorflow.test.isgpu oops available and what we get is false. That's probably what you be seeing if you just pip installed TensorFlow GPU. It doesn't really help if you just reinstall TensorFlow GPU. Um, but the good news is that there is an easy fix. The easy fix is uh, if you want, you can grab a new environment uh, so that it can deactivate uh, and we'll do conda create dash n um, and we'll give it a random name like uh, tf uh, radeon. Uh, we'll do python 3.6 for example. We'll just wait for this to be created. Then what we'll do is we'll conda activate tf radeon and then extremely easily as Microsoft has explained it in their site, which I will show on the screen right now, is that what we have to do is quite simply type in the following command. So what we do is pip install, as you <laughs> might have guessed, TensorFlow, then we will use direct ML. So direct ML press enter and we just wait for a couple of minutes for everything to be downloaded. I've already downloaded it, that's why it should be a little bit faster, but we'll see. And then if we do Python and we do import TensorFlow, we'll get this precise error, which at first it's very annoying, um, but what you have to do is simply do either pip or I like to use conda for this, conda install, numpy, yes please, very fast, <laughs> uh, then you do python, import tensorflow, TensorFlow, as you see, the error is now gone. Dot test dot is GPU available and uh, tada, kaboom! We have true, and now we can use TensorFlow with this one. The only thing to have in mind, which I'm not sure if that's not even updated, is is that. Uh, I have to double check it now, so I'll, that's what I'll do, is I believe it's 1.15, um, but we'll check in a second, uh, is your version of the TensorFlow, and yes, it's 1.15.3. Unfortunately, that's the maximum available with uh, direct ML, but still, you have TensorFlow, it's not 2.0, yes, but it's 1.15, which is quite good and it is working on your AMD card as you can see here AMD Radeon RX 6800. It's basically able to run any TensorFlow script you had, any Keras script you had. Uh, so 
I found this really annoying because uh, when you search for, and now I'll just do an overlay of this, um, if you search for AMD Windows TensorFlow or TensorFlow Windows AMD, however you want to spin the wording on Google, you get this hugely impractical tutorials where they uh, they install 100 dependencies they use uh, some virtual machines just to get it to work with virtualization with whatnot it's it's ridiculous it's ridiculous and it's so easy and and, and i'm not discovering the hot water here or anything it's just a matter of going into the official microsoft uh, site that that's why it's bugging me so hard there are tutorials where they explain oh no you can't make it with pure tensorflow you have to use uh, uh, play, uh, played ml or something like this only for keras it's one medium arc article i read where it's it's again very long and i don't get it it's it's so simple it's just literally one command. And okay, okay, I get it. NumPy version, NumPy's version is buggy with this package. Okay, it's two commands, it's not one, but still two commands. Come on. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, just one what I wanted to speak about after uh, my horrible <laughs> experience. So I Googled it for like an hour or two before coming up with this. I was quite depressed that I got the new AMD card. I was so excited that I got 16 gigs of VRAM and then I couldn't basically use it for machine learning, but now I can, so I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. And um, if this worked for you, please like the video or dislike the video if you don't like me jibber jabbering uh, or my explanation. Um, or anything else, and please put in the comments what either you would like to see more, or if that was helpful, or the, if this worked for you, because if it didn't, um, please let me know, I'll try to help you, and that's it for today, thank you very much guys.